Courtney. Hi, everybody. This is Steve Collett from Enhancing Health. I'm with Taryn from Go Taryn TV. Hey everybody, welcome to Go Taren TV today. I'm Taryn, the Traveling Trainer here in Atlanta, Georgia for episode 510. We have a returning guest today with us here in Atlanta, Georgia as well. He's back and he also works with uh, myself at Family Life Center among other places. He'll tell you about that. Please welcome Mr. Steve Collett of Enhancing Health. Steve, how are you doing today? Good, Taryn. How about yourself? Very good. Thank you. It's great to see you. Uh, always a pleasure to uh, talk to you. I'm so glad and excited we finally get a chance here to have you back on. Um, so for the folks who missed you the first time, Steve, if you don't mind, can you please kind of maybe reintroduce yourself for the new fans and new listeners out there and just tell them about yourself, where you grew up, and uh, what you're doing here in the greater Atlanta area, please. Sure. Uh, Steve Collett. I've been in Atlanta since 1990. I went to uh, college, Appalachian State. I uh, graduated with a degree in exercise physiology, and um, since 1990, I've been helping people improve their health through fitness, good nutrition, um, stress management programs. So for over 25 years, I've been helping uh, people feel good, look great, and stay healthy. Yes, definitely. I could certainly attest to that and uh, definitely let everyone out there know he's a wonderful trainer. Uh, we're going to definitely get your contact information at the end of the show, too, so that way people can, if they want to reach out to you and um, are interested in personal training and getting more fit. But uh, here we are, Steve, in the greater Atlanta area. Today I brought you back on because I wanted to talk to you about this unbelievable heat that we've been having here, the high temperatures, the humidity. It's just so hot. And most likely, anybody who's watching our interview right now, even if they're not in Atlanta or, you know, regardless of where they're at, they can probably relate to what we're going through here. We're going through a heat spell. We're breaking records, uh, record highs, as I said. And so um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about and, uh, you know, just kind of get your opinion and suggestions here and advice and help because I know there's a lot of people out there, for one, as you know, who are turned off by the idea of even going to the gym or exercising, let alone getting in their car. It's just too hot outside. It's just one of those easy excuses that we can give ourselves. And uh, also, in addition to that, we know that there's a uh, clientele who m maybe shouldn't be out there in the heat and, uh, you know, your special populations of people who are kind of, uh, you know, susceptible to getting over heat exhausted and uh, heat cramps and strokes. So, uh, first question for you, Steve, and again, you're an outdoor guy because you do a lot of stuff outside, bicycling, outdoor you know, trails, and you're just out there all the time. But uh, let's just start off and talk about the importance of water. So uh, with water and rehydration, how critical is it for people to make sure that they're rehydrating and getting enough water in? Uh, it's extremely important, especially for the elderly, because you know, your body's over 70% water, and if if you just have a 10% reduction in water due to excessive sweating, the temperatures we're having, et cetera, the function of your body is not going to work. It's uh, the metabolic, it, the metabolism is going to slow down. You're not going to burn the body fat that you want. Um, you're going to lose a lot of energy. And more importantly, uh, the ability to dissipate heat is going to drop drastically. Like I said, especially with the elderly, they cannot dissipate heat very well. So they can overheat extremely quick. They can go into heat exhaustion and then heat stroke. And that's why you see so many elderly die during the summer, especially during these hot, humid summers we've had. Gosh, I think we're into like 50th day of 90 plus temperature. Yes, that's correct. Unbelievable. Yes. And so I can't ex express enough, especially, you know, you and I work a lot with seniors at the uh, Family Life Center. The demographic is, I would say, 65, 70 and older there. So we, right. we, I know you do and I do, we stress to them how important it is to drink water throughout the day. And that's just one thing they don't do very often is drink. Nine out of ten seniors, you ask them, are you drinking? No. So we've got to educate them why it's so important to drink water on a continual basis during this, this type of summer. Very well said. I like that. That's a great answer. And um, in addition to that, the heat itself, it, what advice can you give to the folks who, uh, let's say that their routine is going outside and they're already accustomed to doing their workouts by doing what have you outside running or, you know, and they're just, their excuses, I just can't get out there, it's too hot. 
what would you advise those folks uh, to do as an alternative option? Um, you mentioned cycling. Sure. I, I love cycling. Yes. Uh, so what I do is I either do it early as possible, about 6.30, 7 a.m. Okay. I usually finish up around 10. Uh, or, like last night, I rode with a big group here in Duluth, and uh, we left at 6.30, and it was much cooler. You can deal with the temperatures in the early morning, late afternoon, as opposed to, say, between the hot temperatures of, I would say, between 10 and 4. Mm -hmm. It's just too hot, the sun's too direct, and the, the potential of overheating is, is very high. So start early or start late and hydrate, not just when you're exercising, but start drinking before you go. One thing I tell my clients, if, if they're going to be doing something very strenuous outside and they know they're going to lose a lot of fluids, is to weigh themselves before they start and then weigh themselves when they're finished. And that reduction in weight, which it will be because they're losing a tremendous amount of water, start rehydrating. So um, it's just prevention, Taryn, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what we teach is prevention. So if, if they use common sense and... Um, and do the things that we recommend, they should, they should be fine. Mm -hmm. Very valid point. And uh, in addition to that, um, if somebody uh, is out there and they're not sure and aware if, uh, what the symptoms and signs are, what should they look for if they think that they might not be feeling too well and may be suffering such like a heat exhaustion? Uh, what are some of the signs and symptoms that they should definitely watch out for when they're outside? One is uh, extreme thirst. Okay. If you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Sure. Uh, second is uh, mental clarity. You start to lose your thinking capacity. You can't focus very well. Uh, your energy level really drops. Mm -hmm. um, excessive, excessive sweating, which is a sign of heat exhaustion. Once you stop sweating, then that's bad because that's potential heat stroke. Mm -hmm. And if you go into heat stroke, you need immediate attention, 911. Oh, yeah. So, uh, again, look for signs, as I mentioned, um, but stay hydrated before you begin any activity outside, and you should be okay. Mm -hmm. Another important valid point is stay away from the energy drinks. Mm -hmm. Energy drinks are just loaded with caffeine, and they will dehydrate you faster. Mm -hmm. Do not drink energy drinks when you know you're going to be outside in this hot temperature. That's a really good point, too. You're right, because uh, now the whole rave, of course, is Red Bull and Five Hour. And, um, you know, all those. When you go to uh, Kroger or Publix and you're cashing out, you see 10 different brands of, uh, you know, the energy shots and energy drinks. And uh, those things are, yeah, like you said, caffeine and loaded with sugar and whole bunch of other, I mean, everything else under the sun. So I'm glad you said that. So really, from what I understand, it sounds like water is our best friend when it comes to battling the heat. I would say water is. Mm -hmm. uh, some people sweat excessively and they lose a lot of electrolytes. Mm -hmm. uh, one, one way you can tell is when you're finished and you look at your face and you've got these white streaks, white marks on your face, that's, mm. uh, that's salt. Yes. So you're losing a lot of sodium and potassium. And if you do that, then water is not going to replace your electrolytes. You need something that is effective in doing so. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you don't, you're going to start cramping. And cramps can be very severe. And you know, if you look at Gatorade and some of those other drinks, first thing you notice high fructose corn syrup. They're just loaded with sugar. Uh -huh. There's not a lot of electrolytes. So I'd recommend going to one of your local nutrition depots or nutrition stores and talking to them to say what would they recommend that's low in sugar but can replace the electrolytes. I like that, Steve. There's a really good place next door to the Family Life Center at that Publix, the Peach Public Shopping Center called Peach yeah. Tree, or I'm sorry, Peach Vitamins, actually. Um, you've heard of them? The, yeah. Yeah, those people are really great, and I think that uh, you, you brought up a really good point there, too. I like that. Uh, uh, you know, going there and just finding out, like, what alternatives they have. Maybe your zero calorie or, like you said, maybe sugar-free um, Gatorade alternative uh, products that you can have without the high fructose syrup. So that's really well said. Um, well, another thing, too, is common sense. Um, I teach boot camps, and uh -huh. I stopped teaching those 
June, July, August. I'll probably start back in October again okay. when the, when the temperatures are a lot better. Because yeah. in those classes, a lot of them are around 6 p.m., 6.30 when people get off. And it's just not safe. So the instructor needs to think beforehand, you know, our, our clients, are, our customers are number one. So we need to think of their safety first. So if anybody's out there who's leading a class, you, know, you really need to use common sense when you're working with these folks, especially new new students, new clients. They're, they're not going to be conditioned. And so the potential for some type of heat exhaustion or even worse, heat stroke, is pretty high when you're dealing with someone who's deconditioned. Mm -hmm. um, so just, uh, just be careful. Think about what you're doing. Promote, educate, teach them why it's so important to to uh, stay hydrated before, after, and during exercise. Absolutely, yeah. And I guess we could also insert, um, you know, the uh, loose-fitting uh, clothes and shorts and T-shirts versus the heavy, you know, because what I think about in my early days of exercise, when I was in wrestling practice some maybe 20 years ago, our high school coach had uh, us wearing those, uh, remember, the garbage bags, and we would oh, yeah. put those on and go in the sauna. And, uh, you know, back then... I mean, yeah, exactly. What is your thoughts on those? Like, you see, still see them on the shelves, those sweatsuits. Uh, do you have uh, advice on folks who might be considering to buy one of those? Well, I, I really don't recommend those. You Me know, too. I'm the same with you. Like, like yourself, they need to, to get to a certain weight. Uh huh. They'll, they'll drop a tremendous amount of fluid. Right. People who are looking to lose weight, uh, it's not a safe approach. You know, one thing you and I both do is we educate, and, and I'm always telling my clients that you, the scale is not the important component. It's really how your clothes feel, because that's yeah. an indication of your body composition change. You're right. losing, you're gaining muscle mass. And when someone's wearing those sweatsuits, all they're losing is fluids. And so, yeah, they may drop five to ten pounds on the scale, but once they start drinking again, it's all coming back. <laughs> And, but the potential of developing some type of heat-related illness is pretty great, especially with these temperatures when, when you wear something like that. So I, I don't recommend those at all, uh, unless, like yourself, when you're wrestling, you need to get to a certain weight class. Because mm -hmm. um, you do, and then immediately you start drinking. I mean, you've you got to replenish your fluids, otherwise you're, you know, you're not going to be able to compete. So I don't, I don't recommend those for the average person. Yeah, yeah, certainly. And... Uh, very well spot on. Brilliant answers, Steve. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Uh, this is very educational, helpful, and informative. Uh, you're just a wealth of knowledge. So uh, now let me ask you this. Uh, what are the plans for the rest of you and your family for the summer? Uh, well, my daughter is a senior in high school, so we've been looking at colleges. So Excellent. we're going to continue doing that. She, uh, she definitely likes University of Georgia. So do I. So yes, definitely. Hopefully, uh, we can get accepted or she can get accepted into there. And then uh, we got a, a trip to the beach in September. So we always like to do that after everybody's gone back to school. Uh, it's a lot quieter. And, and uh, I've got a, a lot of charity bike rides coming up in the fall. I love cycling. So I'll be doing those and uh, raising money for different organizations. That is and, nice. And um, just really developing my business. I, I can't express to you how, how much I enjoy helping people improve their health. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's to help with recovery from uh, a surgery coming up or get ready for a surgery or let's re I, I've helped numerous people reverse type 2 diabetes and um, you know I work in Duluth I work in Buckhead I travel around the city like yourself mm -hmm. going into homes and the businesses anything to, to educate and promote help that's that's what we went to school for that's that's what we do. We enjoy doing it, and you know, anytime you can help somebody, that's that's you know, you you've done it. That's it's an awesome feeling. Oh, it's highly. So that's what I that's what I hope I can continue doing this summer. The rest of this year is helping people. Very well said. That's excellent, Steve. It's highly rewarding. And uh, for the folks watching out there, you can always find Steve at the Family Life Center in Buckhead. We know where that's at. But elsewhere, um, Steve, can you please provide us with some contact information? How can people best reach you, and how can they best find out about uh, you and your team as well, please? Sure. I work at uh, TNT Fitness in Duluth. I work, at, as you mentioned, Family Life Center in Buckhead. I work by appointment. I can, I can come to your home. The best way to reach me, I would say, is my email, which is health 
Coach Steve at yahoo.com. Again, health coach Steve, S T E V E, at yahoo.com. Perfect. We'll have that on the uh, screen when we fade to black in case anybody wants to grab a pen and paper and take that down as well. Um, that is great, Steve. Well, and also, yes. Excuse me. One more thing. Please. Not only do I like cycling, I also like landscape design. And ah, that's yes, a hobby that's I've right. turned into a business. And so fall is coming up, which is the best time to put in a landscape or make modifications to a landscape. And I've got a great team. We can do anything from uh, just general design to softscape installation, hardscape installation, driveways, irrigation, retaining walls, uh, night lighting, um, sod, etc. So if anybody uh, is looking to do something this fall, they can contact me. Um, my company is called CollettLandscapeGroup.com. That's my website. Um, so, so for your folks out there, if they want to give me a shout, again, they can go to HealthCoachSteve at Yahoo.com or look up Collett, C-O-L-L-E-T-T, Landscape Group. Com. Wonderful. We'll get that up on the screen as well, too. That's perfect. And again, I can definitely uh, tell everyone Steve's a hard, dedicated worker, very punctual, extremely professional. Uh, people love him. Everyone that I see him working with just raves about him. So, And even my clients, too, say that they uh, really observe and uh, highly recommend you as well. So you're doing great things, Steve. You just keep up the Thank terrific you, work. Yeah, absolutely. You're a true gentleman. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate you coming on here and uh, helping everyone out. Uh, so um, definitely. And, uh, well, one more question, Steve, before we let you go. Uh, what are all the plans for the rest of this week? Rest of this week, um, just helping my clients. No, Nothing special. That's what it's about. <laughs> Stay, <laughs> staying inside, too. It's too hot outside. <laughs> nice air conditioning, right? <laughs> exactly. I, I don't know what the people did back in the day uh, before air conditioning was developed, especially in the cars, too. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're pretty lucky. We're very fortunate. Very lucky, very fortunate. Well, excellent. Well, on that note, I'm very lucky and fortunate to know you. You're a great friend and a true fitness colleague, professional. Keep it up, Steve. And uh, thank you so much for coming on today's show, too. Same here, Taryn. I really appreciate working with you, and, and thanks for this today. My pleasure. Uh, all right, Steve, we'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right, everybody, there you go. Another video blog in the books, Mr. Steve Collett of Enhancing Health. I want to thank him for coming on today's GoTerran TV video blog show and uh, just discussing the wonderful tips to avoid the heat. And uh, if you'd like to learn more information about him in addition to his contact information, I encourage you to go back to the archives on GoTerran TV. And please make sure to check out episode 303. That was a circle of praise video we did on Enhancing Health where we highlighted them. And episode 311, that was the very first time that we had Steve here via Skype. And uh, just a wonderful guy, amazing individual, and a true friend as well. I'm lucky to know him. So, uh, Steve, if you're watching by chance, thank you again for your time. I really appreciate it. And everybody else out there, Enhancing Health, Health Coach Steve check him out today connect with him especially if you're in the greater Duluth area you won't find a better trainer than him he's one of the best and uh, that'll do it for today's video blog everybody I want to thank everyone out there for watching today and um, again just uh, if you want to connect with yours truly please make sure to like GoTerran on Facebook subscribe to GoTerran on YouTube and follow GoTerran on Twitter and that way you'll stay connected with yours truly Taryn the traveling trainer of GoTerran personal training who always tells each and every one of you that it's your time it's your investment and it's your life Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video blog, everybody. Bye-bye.